So it's had a minor redesign and I've decided to change the hitch. Uh, what I'm going to do with the hitch, instead of mounting it here, is I'm going to mount it to those two lower square tube links and then come back closer to the bike. That way it's, uh, it's not pulling the bike to the right as much. Yes, Riker, yes. Yes. So uh, it's going to mount just a pipe coming back like that, like they did on the old uh, BMW World War II bikes. Um, it'll just be a hitch coming back there. Same kind of hitch, just um, mounted down here to a square tube coming back. Uh, down here, I swapped out the 175 shock for a CB450 shock. It's only about the height of the eyelet shorter, but it's a lot stiffer. And uh, I mounted the shock the other way instead of this way. I mounted it just slightly that way. And it's mounted off the back of the axle, which is why I've got that piece there. Uh, to keep, well, it helps strengthen the axle, then it helps make that uh, shock mount stronger. Um, other than that, I just welded a few things more so a little more solid. Um, that piece of pipe got moved back about two and a half inches. And uh, it tested really well, so I think I'm just going to weld it all together solid now. And then... Uh, I'll go ahead and put the some sort of deck or some sort of rails on it to hold the sled. So that's my uh, update for the minor redesign I'm doing. The next video you'll see it'll all be finished welded and in its final form. Um, and then uh, the one after that will do some testing.